morning. We had a bit of a soggy night last night. <laughs> so I'm still here at Moosebrook State Park, but I'm getting, packing up and heading out today. One thing I certainly won't miss here is the mosquitoes. <laughs> they are <laughs> pretty annoying. Uh, so we're, what, what I'm going to do here, we're going to get packed up, we're going to get out of here, we're going to attempt to find a campsite at Sugarloaf. Alright, so my original plan that I was thinking of doing, I was going to head over to uh, some of the dispersed campsites up in New Hampshire here, which require driving down several miles of dirt roads. And, uh, God, it's something I really want to get into. I want to get into these free campsites and things like that. It'll save me a lot of money. But first of all, coming in on a Friday in July, a slim chance of actually finding a site that's not occupied. And second of all, with all the rain we've had and stuff like that, I just, I don't feel like that me or my van are ready to handle washed out roads or anything like that right now so I think I'm gonna play the safe route and head to a commercial campground but I am gonna get out of the state park campground into a federal park campground anyway not that it's gonna save me any money these days the, the uh, campgrounds in the White Mountain National Forest have gone up all up uh, about two dollars a night this year so it's probably gonna cost me twenty seven dollars a night just to stay at uh, Sugarloaf now ugh but what can you do what it is so we'll head over there at least for tonight and decide what we're gonna do tomorrow that's if we can even find a site there I'm hoping this we get there early enough and with the rain we've been having lately maybe the crowds will be down a little bit maybe I can find one of the first come first serve sites I don't know and if I don't well we'll try some other campgrounds and if that doesn't work we'll abort and go home but we'll see what happens it's part of the adventure we are all packed up. I'm gonna miss this site. It was pretty cool there. You had the nice fireplace and everything. That uh, first night was definitely better than the second night where it got rained out on me, but oh well. <laughs> uh, it was fun cooking my dinner in the fireplace that first night. Let's see, you got everything all packed up here. My weather station put away. You know, it'd be nice to go someplace that actually had somewhere I can go kayaking, but oh well. <laughs> uh, this is a good site though. I like how I had it all enclosed in a little private spot down there too. That was perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better setup down here. But now it's time to take off. Alright, so hopefully Sugarloaf will one have a site available for me, and two, I'll have less mosquitoes than this place does, because I'm getting eaten alive here. So, time to move on though. So first stop we're going to do... Oh, hold on. You! Out! Out! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Bugs. <laughs> Gotta love them. All right. So, as they say, yeah, my first off, I'm actually gonna hit the Walmart in Gorham, pick up some supplies I need because I seem to have forgotten to uh, rest refill the coffee jar. I'm not gonna have enough coffee for the rest of this trip, so I gotta go stop and buy the uh, smallest thing of coffee I can find there, and probably some sugar too because I'm low on sugar and. Uh, any yeah, other supplies I can think of between now and then, we'll, uh, we'll stop and look for them. But that's the plan right now. We're going to head over to Walmart, pick up a few things, and then we're going to be uh, on our way.
back from my trip to Walmart here. Picked up a few things that we needed. Most importantly, we got the coffee. I decided to try some uh, Tim Hortons coffee. Wasn't that much more than the actual house. I got a small box of sugar because I was getting kind of low on that. I also picked up a couple of uh, these memory cards. This is what I used to store all my video on. They're 10, 10 bucks each, so good enough price. And also a refill for my, my uh, what is it called, thermocell. Hopefully I can get rid of some uh, mosquitoes. Hopefully they're not going to be too big of a problem at the next stop, if I find a campsite. So anyway, it's about 11 o'clock. It'll take me probably about an hour to get back to the campsite, but uh, over to the new campsite there. Now let's see what we can find. next stop. Back at Sugarloaf again, one of my favorite stops. <laughs> I know it. I found a site, site number 33. It was open, it was available. One of the first come first serve sites. Very few of them were uh, available, but this one was. There's a few still available, so I got a site. <laughs> it's not a great one. It's The road is, the, the entrance to the campground is there. The main Zealand road is right there, but at least it's a place to stay for the night. And it'll be quiet here, and I'll decide if I'm going to do one night or two nights from here. But before I start getting uh, everything set up, I got to get something to eat. It's already 12:30. I didn't even have breakfast, so I just kind of skipped out because I wanted to get uh, get a campsite. So I haven't had breakfast yet. Haven't had lunch. Haven't had anything. I've not eaten anything today. I, all I've had was a cup of coffee. So <laughs> let's uh, let's see about uh, having something. <laughs> <laughs> I, in fact, I think I'm going to have breakfast. So I decided I'm going to try one of these uh, adventure meals. <laughs> uh, breakfast skillet. So I'm going to have my breakfast at 12.30, so what? Picked this up uh, about a week or so ago at Walmart. Just been curious to try one of these. You're supposed to just add, add water to it, add boiling water, and you get yourself a meal. So we'll see how good it is. It's too bad it's a two-serving one, and I'm only just me, but... They don't sell just one serving ones, everything's got to be multiple servings. But. <sighs> but we'll see how it goes. I got some water boil on the stove now boiling up and pour that in here and we'll try it. What the heck? Be kind of curious to see how these are. These are the eggs. Wow. Alright. This thing out. Alright. Supposed to add one and a quarter cups of boiling water to it. And a stir. And they seal. Yeah, it's noisy here. And I'm supposed to seal it and wait five minutes and stir it again. It's been sitting for about ten minutes, uh, so I let it sit for five minutes, opened it up, stir, stirred it again. I didn't put that on video. And I sealed up, so it sit for another four minutes. And now it should be ready. Doesn't smell great. Let's see how it tastes so. I have a feeling this is gonna be peppery. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, it's okay. It's not great. It'll do, it gets me some food anyway. In fact, the sausages are kind of hard. But, hey, like I said, I wanted to try one of these, see how it was. And I'm starving, so <laughs> anything's good at this point. So. Alright, talk to you guys later.